Well, it's Sunday, and that means it's time for the Sports Zone Top 5 Plays of the Week. Now, we have two plays that didn't actually happen on the playing field, but were kind of cool nonetheless. Who would be number one this week? Starting at number five, the Explorers hosting Kansas City this past Tuesday. It's game one of a doubleheader. After catching a foul ball, the Explorers' Daniel Lingua goes, does a great thing, gives a foul ball to a young fan. That's how you grow the game. Great move. At number four, in Morningside soccer game with Grandview on Saturday, there was a stoppage of play because of the extreme heat. So the Morningside team took advantage of the delay and had a breakdancing contest. Not sure that was a good idea. Not sure if there was actually a winner. Mustangs turning lemons into lemonade. Now, on to number three. Back to the Explorers against Kansas City last Tuesday. KC's Isaiah Gilliam with the deep shot to left. But it's not deep enough. Great catch at the wall by the X's Justin Cannell. That ends the inning. The X's go on to win the game 3-2. Number two, Morningside and Grandview soccer from Saturday. Morningside's Mia Stoffel brings the heat with the shot. Grandview goalie makes a great stop. That keeps the game scoreless. That's how the game would end in a 0-0 tie. And at number one, the first high school game of the year, Elk Point Jefferson at Parker. Elk Point Jefferson's Keaton Gale throws this pass for only his tight end. Ashton Fairbanks can get it. Great catch. Some great moves. He can't quite get into the end zone. The Eskies would score on the very next play. Elk Point Jefferson would go on to beat Parker 54 to nothing. And those are your Sports Zone top five plays of the week.